Now, we've highlighted some incredible athletes with disabilities on the show and spoken with current and hopefully future Paralympians. My next guest has recently been shining a light on outstanding athletes and why representation matters. Talia Lazarus was involved in a rose accident in 2021 and didn't walk for 10 weeks, had a number of different surgeries on her knees and had to relearn how to walk. Since this ordeal, Talia has taken on the mission to hear other people's stories via her organisation, I Got Back Up. Talia joins me now. Good evening, Talia. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, really good. Thanks for joining me. By the way, you've got the coolest name in the world, Talia <laughs> Lazarus. You sound a little bit like a Bond villain, to be fair, uh, Talia. Are you a Bond villain? I am, actually, in you the are. evening, funnily <laughs> enough. <laughs> Listen, let's, let's t- t- uh, talk through your story. Just tell us about your story. So, as you said, in uh, August 2021, I was in a road accident. Uh, what happened was, was I was on an electric scooter. I lost control and I hit a bus. So kind of with that big ordeal, I didn't walk for 10 weeks. And with regards to not walking for 10 weeks, I had to relearn how to walk. Uh, During the accident, actually, my knee buckled. Um, So with regards to, you know, the knee buckling, it's uh, it's a crazy thing what that can do to your mind. And when you do relearn how to walk, there is such a fear that you're going to buckle your knee again, even though you're told plenty of times you're not, you are. Um, but yeah, so I had knee surgery in September. I was rushed in for emergency knee surgery and then double knee surgery this February. So, uh, me. yeah, nothing, nothing I thought I'd go through at 25 years old. <laughs> it's, it's quite incredible how life deals with these things. And, and I, I, just hearing you talk then about the, 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 what your mind does, because I've, I've talked to lots of people through the years who have suffered injury. And a lot, pretty much 95% of them always talk about the mental element here and how your, your mental well-being, your mental health can be hugely affected. Is that something you found, Talia? Oh, hugely affected. I mean, more so than the physical side. The physical side is extremely difficult, yes. And, you know, not being able to use muscles or, you know, walk per se, you know, something I've been doing for my whole life. So the physical side is, is terrible, yes, but the mental side is definitely was definitely affected more i uh became extremely lost uh, i remember there were times i'd look down at my own legs and you know they'd been battered and bruised because i you know, had operations on them and i wouldn't even recognize my own legs sometimes and it was a really weird thing to look down at a part of my own body and not recognize myself mm. uh yeah it was uh the mental side of things was was it was a complete roller coaster there were some really really tough days You've used your experiences to speak to others. And what kind of situations have have, have the people that you've spoken to found themselves in? So it's been a mixture of different things. So this is what happened was, so I started to speak to more people that had gone through their own kind of journeys, their own recoveries. And that's where it led me to obviously the founding I got back up. But it's been a variety of different things. Um, one girl, she's uh, she's actually a paraclimber. She's, uh, she's blind. So it was kind of all about her story as a paraclimber. Uh, we have another guy who I spoke to recently. Um, he is a Team GB a para swimmer as well, and he um, has dyslexia. So it's all about kind of his story with learning um, difficulties and growing up with that. So it's been a whole wide mixture of things which are physical or not even physical things. It's it's a mixture of everyone's stories. But what was really interesting is it doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what your story is, is any kind of recovery in any sort of way, people related to each other, even mm. on the smallest of aspects. It's a, it's a sense of you feel really alone when you're going through what you're going through. And you don't realize, usually until afterwards, that there's a whole community that also feel alone. And that's kind of where I Got Back Up comes in is it helps everyone that feels alone hopefully not feel alone i love i love this idea of taking something so negative and almost saying actually we're going to have a you can be part of the club you know you you're not (laughs) alone you're actually part of this really this club that nobody really wanted to join but actually in this circumstance you know um it's an opportunity to belong absolutely yeah had you have told me a year ago that a year later i would have had my own yeah as you say my own club in a sense of Everybody that's going through recoveries, I I would never have believed it. Uh, but I guess that's what life is. Life throws you things that you never in your wildest dreams imagined to happen to you. And it's how do you turn a really negative situation and yeah. how do you look at it in a more positive light? 
Yeah, superb. What, what what's the ultimate aim here? Obviously, you're you're. I mean, even if you stopped right now, what you've done is you've got people together who are sharing similar experiences, or even if they're completely different experiences, emotionally there might be similarities that people can relate to. So already there, there's a positive. But what is there a long term aim for this? What do you actually hope to achieve? So I do hope to expand it uh, just more and more and more every day, every month, every year. I do have my own podcast, which I started only very recently. I do a different episode each week where I talk to somebody else with a different journey, a different story. Um, And it is, it's just something that I do see growing. And I I just want to help people. And in every situation, I want less people to feel alone. And I just want people to realize that, you know, not to give up. Is it... I just wonder whether you've had a moment in, you know, in the last year where when you were putting, you know, I got back up together and you were thinking about how it could all, because it takes a lot of planning and I know these things do when it comes to social (laughs) media and and organising it and getting domain names and all that kind of stuff. (laughs) Um, When you were doing all that, uh, during the period, obviously, um, that, that, you know, you were injured, do, was there a moment that you thought my life I, I never imagined my life would go down this path i can't i can't quite believe i'm here doing this not about the injury not about what happened to you but that you're actually because of that you're able to do something exceptionally positive yeah it's happened a couple of times actually uh well, it happens quite a lot interestingly enough and even right now kind of speaking to you it it happens as well because Again, who would have thought that, you know, a year or even two years ago that I'd be discussing something like like, like this with you. So, yeah, it's definitely something that kind of every day I wake up and it's just it's it's amazing that it's happening in a way. Um, listen, um, f- before we do anything else, how are you? How are you physically? How's the how's the process of, of recuperation going? You know what? It's uh, I'm in a really good place. It's it's good. still ups and downs because yeah. that's what it is. But it's. I'm in a good place, thank you. I always think when I do these interviews um, with people like yourself, uh, and sometimes I, I forget to say the most simple thing. How are you? <laughs> How are you? You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. Listen, I want everyone to know about this, and, and let's point them in the right direction. Now, what I've got written in front of me is I've got the website, which is uh, igotbackup.net, and then I've got an Instagram uh, page, which is obviously Instagram, and just search I Got Backup, presumably. And you said you're doing YouTube uh, as well. So is it just literally put I Got Backup on, you know, into a search engine and you'll find you? Yeah, you can put it onto the Spotify, Apple, kind of wherever you listen to podcasts. And then also on YouTube, if you search uh, I Got Back Up, you should find it. And maybe Talia Lazarus, my name, if not. <laughs> uh, listen, so so good, to, so good to talk to you, Talia. Really good to talk to you. And, um, you know, just keep trying to evade James Bond um, <laughs> with your <laughs> name. Uh, this kind of positivity goes, uh, you know, a massive way in people's life. And, I, you know, I think this will, this will touch a lot of people. So lovely to talk to you. Have a great evening and uh, you know, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Have a good evening too.